Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22. In total, we got eight mods and they are all for PC and Mac players today. Five new and three updates. I don't want to waste your time. If you guys are on consoles looking for new mods, there are none today. Not even any updates for you guys. However, we are going to load up all the mods that released today into the store, take a look at customization, and we'll review all three of the mods that got an update. I do make mod review videos every time mods are released on the in-game mod up, usually Monday through Friday, so get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any. All right, starting off today with new mods for PC and Mac players. First mod is the Steiger ST320 from Exoblode Modding. Uh, I can't really tell you why this isn't on console. I'm not quite sure other than the fact that maybe they just don't want Steiger on consoles. Could be. Who knows? Either way, we got 250 horsepower on here. Very, or power shift transmission. 1,010 liters of fuel. Heck yeah, man. We also got 22 mile per hour max speed. That's pretty good for one of these. And 15.1 tons. As far as configs, I love the name on this. Everything is green. We also have green and white. And then back to it. Engine setup. So we got that 250 as well as a 320 horsepower. So there you go. Plenty of power there. Wheel brands, Michelin, BKT. Continental Lizard. We got some interesting stuff in there as well as Michelin. Because we have Lizard in here and not Firestone, this tells me that they probably meant for this to be on all platforms. So maybe keep an eye on, on this one later on. As far as designs go, we have cab filter uninstalled or installed. Rim colors, we have all of the above. So every single color you can imagine. You got them. Actually, black doesn't look too bad on there. Cool mod. Next up, we got a subsoiler. This is the AgriLift GRM ZNS. This is 3 meters, 7 miles per hour. It's 160 horsepower required, and it weighs 1.1 tons. As far as configs, we've got without shaft or with the shaft on the back. And the reflections, we've got no and yes. I'll tell you what, the detail on this thing is incredible. It's from Rivers Mods. Check this out. Dang, man. And from the same honor, we've got a cultivator from those guys, the AgriLift AUS2 H. This has an 80 horsepower required three meter cultivator at nine miles per hour, and it weighs almost a ton. As far as your back roller, you got your V ring on there, you got your T ring, the C ring, and back and forth again to there. Don't say it too, too fast. That all sounds really dirty. <laughs> Types and tools. Two rows and three rows on there. And then as far as the front roller, we got a tubular, man. We've also got a packer roller and back and forth between those. Now, this has a hook on the front and the back. Mm, lead me to believe possibly might be able to use these together, but... Uh, not really sure why you would. How's about some new big bags for you guys? We've got the Norwegian big bags from Grave. We've got five of them total. First one is the unicorn seeds. We got spire seeds, which is a thousand liters each. Then we've got lime, a thousand liters of that. Solid fertilizer and then forage. Interestingly enough, all kinds of different stuff through here. All Norwegian in brand. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the push round bells. So this is really cool. So this adds the ability to push or roll the bells. Look at this. Or I can roll it back this way. As long as you're in in the uh, the zone of it. As long as you're holding, you're good. So this is going to be used with the mouse only. Uh, yes, you can redo the, the buttons if you want to, but um, you don't have to. Like, if you're like me and you go up and it's like, oh, I can't lift this. It physically says object is too heavy. Well, all I got to do is roll it. <laughs> How neat is that? So if you guys push the left key, it's going to pull one way, right button on your mouse, it's going to push it the other way. Obviously, you could set those to whatever you would like, but this is kind of neat. In real life, you could roll the bells. So we're rolling, 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 rolling. And we got a couple updates for PC players today as well. Starting off with the map, Garenthal version 1.2. They've added more roads around the fields, added some missing grass areas around the map, added placeable farmhouses with sleeping and wardrobe triggers, added placeable decorations, updated the mod icon, fixed some houses facing the wrong way, fixed the invisible shed near the animal dealer, Fix the Blumengard exports not accepting cotton and wood chip bells, and they've removed four fields previously marked as 40, 41, 42, and 43 due to contracts giving too big of rewards for their size. Boo! <laughs> 
We want the good ones. We want the good ones, they say. No save game is required. However, it is recommended as you will not see some of these changes, including this fields being removed. Next up is an update to the Strobel Bulk Tender version 1.001. Fixes some minor bugs. And your last mod today is the Bell Storages update version 1.4. On storages for alfalfa, alfalfa hay, clover, clover again, uh, lavender hay, grass silage, and maize silage have been added. However, they say it's only available when in the game available. I believe what they mean to say is it's only available when you got Mace Plus installed. Well, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We've already released a couple videos today. Of course, we had farm some news earlier this morning. Plus, we had a blog release talking about building roller coasters and boats and showing off the garage tour for the new DLC. Got a new video for you guys. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. See you guys later. Peace!